Oh, look at him. He's huge. He makes a shadow. Hi guys, I'm Raging Diesel, and welcome to another episode of Subnautica. Now in our last episode, we found out what we were doing here, and that rescue wouldn't be here for another week. So we made the compass, the air bladder, the grav trap, and the habitat builder, so we can survive until rescue. Now today we'll keep an ear out for any radio contact, and start building a base to house any survivors we may come across. So like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get rolling! Okay. Now that we got this habitat builder, we got things to do. So, it's a little dark. But go ahead and board the escape pod. Find out exactly what we have to do. Uh, let's uh, check on the radio here. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Five pod 17 stranded near the cave system. 560 meters. Okay. We got a lot of stuff here that we need to offload. See if we have any uh, space at all to, to... Let's see. Let's see if we can store some of this stuff here. And where's the other one? Okay, looks like we can we're gonna need to make it up. Carry this one along with us. Uh let's see what it's gonna take to Make another storage locker. Or titanium. Okay. Let's go ahead and Where is there? Okay, put them right here. Not that one. There we go. Put this in here. We'll keep all this. We need to get grab some some food. So let's grab some food and some water possibly. Let's see if we can find some of them peepers. They seem to do so much better.
and another one. Sun's starting to come up, so we'll go ahead. Just need to get a few more of them bladder fish and get water. Where'd he go? Okay, we got a few peepers, a couple platter fish. Before we head out over there, let's uh make sure we have food and water to take with us. Plenty of those, and we'll get water. There, that should do the trick. How's our sea glide? Nineteen percent. Maybe we should bring another battery with us. Two acid mushrooms, one copper. Copper. Let's grab a couple acid mushrooms while we're here. That should give us enough power. Now, do we do we still have that beacon? Good. Now, we're gonna head off with the sea guide. Let's see what we can find out over here. Again. He doesn't seem to be moving fast. I read up on him anyway. Um, let's give him a quick scan. did some reading on him. They're, they're harmless. 100 meters. 30 seconds. Only 17% power. There's another one there. There it is right here. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, whatever got them, got them good. And they got these little crazy creatures there. This. Oh, let's scan that. Ok, 
Okay, we got that. Seagull. Abandoned PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Better to try to use the look at him. Thirty seconds. Forty thirty seconds. Bioreactor. This is really in the water. Uh, five. This gets us down here fast. And he got tore up. seconds. Alright, there's nothing else in here. Is there anything else we can around this area. Oh, here's some sandstone. We definitely need that. Passing 100 meters, 30 seconds. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh! the life pod. Oh wow, look at this deep ass hole. see much more here although there's a lot of local scans show a nearby cave entrance depth 90 meters leading to an unknown environmental biome okay oh here's something over here Woo! Let's see if we can get down there. Looks like we could use something a little bit different. What's this? Oh, here. Um, two. 
Oh, there's another laser cutter fragment. Ooh. Look at him, he's huge. He makes a shadow. seconds <laughs> um, I think it's about time we headed back Moth fragment. Sea moth, two of three. Thirty seconds. What is the sea moth? That's a long swim up. That air bladder Oxygen. works the best. Another part of the cave. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Whoa! Just kind of swinging by here. Source, so we are there. Now we got first battery. Look at we got a bunch of debris right here. Sea glide frag. Uh, we already have that titanium out of it. Another sea glide fragment. Another beacon fragment. Another beacon fragment. So there's a lot of uh thirty seconds. There was something down right here. Let's go see what this is here. Okay. There, we've got the laser cutter. Need a blueprint. Okay. okay. Oh, look, here. Brain corals. Provide right, oxygen for us. We can... Kind of... There's a chance here. Sea moth fragment. We've got the sea moth. Wow. Print acquired. Looks like... Uh, 
That works out pretty well. We ended up getting the laser cutter and the sea moth. Let's see if we can maybe possibly work on putting those together. Now that it's dark, it's up. Just head on back to the life pod and see what the PDA says. Zero percent. Oh, no, these go in here. All right. Now, so, uh, let's see. Uh, we're just checking here. Life pod 17 crew log. Let's listen to this. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Oh. Looks like uh, something happened to him. Seems like all the survivors we get. Something... You gotta be careful here, I guess. You're gonna end up dying. Seek fluid intake. Looks like it's time to grab some food. Oh. Um. Trying to get into my. Oh. Here. Let's uh, eat some of these peepers. Oh, those dry you out like crazy. All right, we have food and water. Let's see if we can grab some more water. Gonna need some more of the bladder fish. Just see here blueprints. We ended up getting a laser cutter. Let's see what that is. High capacity tank. Maybe we can, should get that too. 
Uh, laser cutter. Laser cutter. Cutting device suitable for penetrating standard titanium doors. Well, we need two diamonds. I don't think we have any diamonds yet, so we're not going to get that for work anytime soon. Make a battery, titanium, and cave sulfur. We can get that, but we need to find the diamonds first. Now, mobile vehicle bay fabricates vehicles from raw materials. And this is the sea moth. Oh, I've seen this before. That's the little mini sub. Titanium ingots, a power cell, glass times two, lubricant, and lead. Okay. Maybe we should work on first building a place to set up. We have another radio message. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how yeah. that, how many of you. I, I didn't know. We should We're assume. now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Well, we might not. That doesn't sound like pretty good options. Looks like it's daylight out here. Maybe we should think about uh, building ourselves a place to stay and store all this stuff up so we can gather things together. Um, I'm going to scout around. I think over here, where it's closer to deep water, might be a good spot. Besides, we might be able to get power from this thermal vent. It's only like a hundred meters from the life pod. Seems like a decent place here. Um, need to figure out what this habitat builder is. We're gonna swap the habitat builder, not the repair tool, the habitat builder with the, the scanner. And we're gonna check out and see uh, what we need to accomplish this thing here. At least that way we could possibly store more items and stuff like that. And have a place to sleep in there. I'm going to try one of these nutrient blocks. Didn't do anything about our water, but man, we're topped off when it comes to food. So. Let's look here. Looks like glass L compartment, X compartments. Base. Oh, looks like we have no rooms. Well, we'd like to learn the multi-purpose room. Base attached air pump. Bioreactor, which we got part of alien containment. Ooh. What do we need to contain aliens? We can fabricate all these things. Oh yes, lockers. Large large lockers, wall lockers. An aquarium. Self-sustaining aquatic habitat. And a sign. Okay. Well, I think we're going to start off building maybe one of these here and then build on to it a little bit. Where is it? Which direction? I think it's over this way.
and I think we'll just go ahead and place it over here. Real close to deep water. like this. Some more tight. Uh, let's check this one. Got some more titanium here. T-junction down. Copper when I need titanium now. Thirty seconds. 
My inventory's full. If we can make some more titanium here. Got some tons of titanium in here. Um, let's put this copper in here just now and grab a few more pieces of titanium. Put this silver away, grab a few more pieces of titanium, the gold, that away. Okay. Gotta remember where it was. Be smart if I paid attention. Alright, it's over here by this vent, so it's actually to the southwest. Let's uh, put a compartment door. It's right there. Now total five. Check this out. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Oh, we need to get oxygen working on this. Base strength is minus one, but we got all this space. Look here. Uh, oxygen. Hatch. Um, you get oxygen. So let's uh, kind of hang out here toward the surface. And figure out what we need. To do. If there was like a pump, I believe. Here, a floating air pump. Or power. There's nothing here for power. This is solar panel. And this bioreactor. I heard about that. So I guess you can make a solar panel. Powers. Habitat oxygen generation. So we need two quartz and copper ore. Um, let's see what we got. We got the quartz. We have the copper ore and the titanium. Uh, 
I mean, Restored. All primary systems online. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, now we got oxygen in there. That's cool. That's a primary wa wave get power. If we need to make more, I guess we could make more. But now that we've got this, we're going to have to worry about filling this stuff up. Let's uh, make it just... Um, let's just make a few of these, uh, lockers here so we can store some of our stuff. Let's just go with the wall lockers. Alright, we're out. More titanium. That's a. That's more titanium here. Let's see what we can kind of separate some of this stuff. I'm going to have to put a beacon or something there because I can't see it in the middle of the dark. It's southwest. around here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, that's the thermal vent, so it's got to be around here somewhere. There it is. Finish this one up. And we'll start storing some of this. We'll put titanium in here. We'll put the precious metals in here. Along with the silver. Uh, the rest of this metal in here. Right now we'll put the quartz and stuff too. Like, oh, we're doing okay. So we got our base set up. We answered another one of those. Another one of those distress calls only to find nothing happening. And, we, and we're about ready to build more and more things. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future content. Don't forget to ring the bell and comment down below. You know, I love your comments. They give me great feedback and they help the channel grow. So until next time, this is Rating Diesel saying, keep the shiny side up. Goodbye, everybody. See you next week.